Hello again. We are here. Second part of the same problem. Mueller Breslow qualitative influence lines. We just did this part. Maximum positive upward reaction. Let's work on the second. Part B. Part B means maximum moment at C. Okay. The first thing that we have to do, if this is the same gear that we have, is find the influence line. We did this using the long approach and where is, where is, where is, where is here. And we did the table and we completed the table. But now I want to show you how it's done with the Mueller Presso approach. And we practiced this before. If what we want to do is just calculating how much is the, the influence line at that point, what we do is that we make a cut right there and we release we release that that point C and if we want to find the moment we release that and the way that we can release the moment is just putting a hinge so we put a hinge over there and when we put a hinge over there and then we apply the moment in the convention that we already know and what we apply there is not the moment it's a unit rotation and then if I if this is pin here and pin here and I apply that unit rotation, this is gonna happen. And this is gonna be the shape of your influence line. Look how easy is this. Of course you need to practice, but it is easy. I remember one comment somebody asked, or somebody put, oh, wouldn't it be easier doing Miller Breslow? Yes, this is for you. Now we're doing Miller Breslow. Look how easy it is. And you were correct, it is easy. Now if this is like that. And I'm releasing it at this point, remember? And it's pivoting over these two points. When I do that and I apply that rotation, this is gonna happen. And by this is gonna happen, what I mean is this is going to happen. Like that. Now we don't know what to do because I forgot how to calculate these values. Well, then you can do and use the statics uh, approach. You know this is positive and this is negative. And our loads are, and our, load, our loads are this one, dead load, 0 0.6, live load, 2, concentrated live load, 8 factor loads. Now, where in this world we are going to put these loads in order to maximize the moment? Tell me. Five, four, three, two, one. Time's over. Where? Dead load. There's nothing to do with the dead load. There's nothing to go around with dead load. Dead load acts everywhere. If this is the dead load, the dead load is going to be acting everywhere. I'm going to use blue for dead load. Blue. Blue. Dead load. Everywhere. And this is 0 0.6. Now, where do you put the live load? Where? In the positive side. Here. Why? Because you say so? I agree with you. Kind of agree with you. The distributed live load, I can put it here. Like that. Which is 2 kip per foot. And the concentrated live load, I can put it here also, which is the maximum value. Here. A kip. If and only if I'm looking for the maximum positive moment, but the question is not asking for positive moment. So we have to calculate the maximum positive and maximum negative moment. And I always make emphasis in this because remember what a maximum, what a positive moment is. A positive moment is something that makes your beam behave in this way. Compression on the top and tension in the bottom. But the negative one 
it's going to do the opposite. So you're going to have tension here at the top and compression at the bottom. Imagine this being, I don't know, reinforced concrete or any other material, but reinforced concrete is a critical case. If you have tension compression, that's going to provide you basically the direction, the, the location of the rebars and the values for the rebars. And then in any single calculation, no matter what the value, no matter what the topic is, no matter what the material is, you have to study both. You have to study both. And if somebody asks you, did, tell me what is the maximum yeah. moment over there, you say maximum moment what? Positive or negative? Both, right? You have to give both moments. With that being said, we also have to do this then. This is for the maximum positive. Now we have to do it for the maximum negative moment. And what do we do? Well, dead load everywhere. Dead load everywhere. Live load, now we have to maximize this. Maximize this. So we put whatever we're going to have the maximum negative effect, which are these two influence areas here, are negative. And our concentrated live load has to be in whatever is the biggest. I know the biggest is going to be here for only one reason. Well, I know it because I solved this problem. And I know it because I am me. But if you look at the geometry here, this value has to be bigger than that. As a matter of fact, this value has to be two times this value because this is 10 and this is 5 and it's the same. So if I have to find the maximum positive, uh, negative, I'm sorry, value for moment, my concentrated load of A keep will be there for maximum negative. Now, if you don't know, and you don't know how to calculate this, then you have to do statics. And then you have to calculate the shear diagram, your moment diagram, whatever. Or you can calculate your moment at C. You calculate one of the reactions. And then when you have one of the reactions, you make a cut, calculate the moment, do it, do it, do it, do it. Practice with the statics if you want to. Uh, but I really, I really don't want to do it. You can practice like that. Because I remember this, and the idea is that you too remember that. What we said before when we had these type of situations, what we apply here is a unit rotation. And I told you, this is 10, this is 10, and this is 10. And you want to calculate this, uh, this height here, h. We said that this is this angle plus this angle, so it's going to be h. It's going to be h divided by a plus h divided by b. And then we solve, 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 solve. And at the end, that h is going to be equal to a times b divided by a plus b. And if you don't memorize this, you just deduct the, the, do the deduction of the equation. If I want to know that h over there, it's going to be 10 times 10 divided by 10 plus 10 meaning 5. This is going to be 5. If this is 5, I can say 5 is as to 10 as this other is a 10. So this is also 5. And in this case, as I told you before, 5 is a 10 like this is at 5. So this is going to be 2.5. And once you know that, the only thing that you have to do for this one is let's calculate. Dead load everywhere. Let's work with the dead load first. For dead load here, it's going to be uh, this area. Maximum moment at C, you put over there. Maximum moment at C is going to be equal to. There's no way. I have to include this negative because it's dead load. So it's going to be 10 times 5. Negative 10 times 5 divided by 2. That's this part. Multiply by 0 0.6. That's the value of the dead load. Now. This other part is plus, plus, plus what? Plus this area. How much is this area? 20 times 5 divided by 2 multiplied by 0 0.6. And then you have this other area. 5 times 2.5, negative 5 times 2.5 divided by 2 multiplied by uh, 0 0.6. That's the dead load part. Now the live load part is plus 
this area which is this one you see you can start later on when you practice more you can combine these two because you know in this portion they have dead load and live load and instead of saying oh this is 2 and this is 0.6 this is 2.6 you can add them up and I'm gonna do it by part so this is gonna be a uh, 20 times 5 divided by 2 multiplied by 2 2 the load and then you have the concentrated live load which is 8 multiplied by uh, this value here 5 when you add this up that's gonna be the maximum positive value let me check this really quick because I don't want to BS my students and tell, yeah, oh, of course I did it. No, I did it, but long time ago. So let me see what is happening here. This is 50 times 2.6 plus 40 minus minus. And this is 151.25 keep foot. There you go. That's the moment at sea. Maximum positive moment at sea, 151.25 keep fit. Now we do the same thing for the maximum negative moment at sea. The maximum negative moment at sea, well, is the whole area, once again. So this part is going to be exactly the same part. Uh, maximum negative moment at sea is going to be equal to this plus this plus this, the whole thing here. Let's, let's, I should have calculated that. Remember, remember where this is coming from this and this is coming from that same like this is coming from that this is coming from that and this other one negative is coming from this negative area and the same thing is going to happen here plus 20 times 5 divided by 2 times 0 0.6 minus 5 times 2.5 divided by 2 times 0 0.6 That's, that covers the positive part now the negative part, I mean the, the dead load, not the positive part, not the positive part, the dead load part. Now the live load part is going to be plus 8, my concentrated live load, multiplied by this 5. 8 times this 5 is going to be this, times 5, plus, I'm going to do it by parts, but you can do it at once if you want to, 10 times 2, Ten, I'm sorry, ten times two. Ten times five divided by two times two, which is this area. Ten times five divided by two. And this other part, which is and why I'm putting plus here, this is negative. This area, 5 times 2.5 divided by 2, multiplied by the live load here. Everything is negative except this big chunk that is positive. Now this result I don't have it from before. I'm gonna try to put a value there, but please be sure that you check it again and again and again and again. And if it's wrong, lie to me. Tell me that it's correct. So it's gonna be negative minus plus minus. Minus uh, 40, minus 50, and minus 
So the maximum negative should be 91.25. Keep fit. Uh, let me just do it one more time to see, to verify this because I was going crazy all over the place. So this is a uh, negative. This this is 11. Point, how much was this here? 40. And this was 140. So this is 11.25. This part is correct. Now this other part will be 40 plus 50, 90. Negative 90, negative 90, and this is 12.5. Negative 90, negative 12.5 plus 11.5. 91.25. Correct. Okay. This is the moment, maximum moment at C due to those conditions. And remember, when somebody tells you maximum moment in a particular instance like this, is maximum positive and maximum moment. Why? Because the behavior changes and the compression tension on the elements changes. This is really important to keep in mind. Last part for this year. Next video. Keep watching. Arrivederci. Bye. Sayonara.